Welcome back my loyal viewers and subscribers. This is part two of a video in which I'm dealing with the preparation for a concrete slab roof of a house. It's called farm work. I have already looked at the preparation from down below and as you can see I'm now on top and you're actually seeing the, the steel work and other works like the electrical and plumbing preparation for a second floor if you have not already subscribed to this channel it's now a good time to hit the subscription button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen now as you can see on screen it's very sunny actually the sun is shining in its glory but I'm trying my best to focus my camera on the work that is already in place basically in this or for this preparation it is for a two-story house so whatever information that I'm posting here has to do with a house and a two-story house in particular if you want to calculate the am amount of steel that is needed to do a slab work or a concrete slab roof you can hit me a question in the comment section and I'll use the measurement that you provide to calculate the amount of half in steel that you will need to do a particular area or a particular house based on size now on screen you will see some squares and these squares came about as a result of how the bars were laid actually there are three layers of the bars the first layers or the first layer the bars run from the back of the building to the front of the building a half inch steel bar in Jamaica measures 29 and a half feet and each one of these bars run from the back of the building to the front so bars these bars they are placed six inches apart the first two layers the ones running from the back of the building and the run and the one and the ones running across the building are six feet apart I'm sure you can see what I'm talking about on screen so each bar running from back to front measuring 29 and a half feet are laid six inches apart and the second layer going across the building are also laid six inches apart and that is how you get these squares six inches by six inches for this particular building there's also a third layer and you have bars going across and from back to front just the same but the difference is that these bars don't they don't go the entire they, they, they don't run 
across for the entire building because really what these bars are for is reinforcement or overload and this is so because there will be a second floor to the building and you don't want to have you, your building being compromised or cracking up so to speak so um the third layer these are really close to where where um the weight of the building will be so they are at the they are at the areas where the second where the walls will be going up and these the third layer is really to to withstand the weight that will be on top now i'm gonna move on now to to the electrical work and i'm sure you can see the conduit running all over here you see one of the octagon boxes and they are wrapped with duct tape they are metal octagon boxes and it is advisable to wrap these metal octagon boxes to prevent corrosion or rusting because these can corrode to the point where they are compromised and therefore lead to shortages or short circuits in your electricity supply so ensure that the person who is doing the electrical work wrap these metal boxes with duct tape they also have the pvc type of octagon boxes but I was advised that the metal ones are much better because um, sometimes the, the PVC type are worn when you want to screw your bulbs or whatever in it they are worn or they will give way under the pressure of the concrete that will be poured um i also want to show you the plumbing work okay i'm moving now here we go and the plumbing work that you're seeing here is preparation for the second floor you have your your sewer line your drain pipe hot water pipe and your cold water pipe going up and these are put in place because you wouldn't want to be doing a second floor and after you have poured your concrete uh, later you say why i need a, another floor to my building so um you start to drill so it's best if you do all of this preparation while you're doing the roof of your first floor and I mentioned roof, roof because the second floor will not be going up just now so it is actually the roof for now later it will be the floor of your second floor and you can also see some vertical bars going up and these are wall bars they are wall bars and column preparation all these steel are bars that are sticking out vertically they were put in place because as I said before there will be a second floor and all of this work 
is necessary now so as to avoid the hassle and headache going forward. This bar will cut out the unnecessary work that it will take to add a second floor if you don't put them in place from now. Work like you'll have to probably drill, drill into your roof to get this bar in. And that will pose a challenge. You might end up boring your water pipes or compromising your electrical installation. Besides, it is said that when you actually do it this way, when you put in the column, the columns, the column bars and the wall bars, it allows for a stronger building. I don't know if there's any other thing that I'm missing out on but if you have any questions you can post it in the comment section and I will be responding as best as I know how to to the end you can see the steel or the top layer of bars are much higher they were cranked up and as, as I mentioned before that is for the overload meaning these will will be these will serve as reinforcement for the the upper floor you don't want to have the walls cracking under the load that will be going up on the upper floor if if this building was was a single floor building um, it wouldn't be necessary for the third layer of steel and if if you desire you can add more steel to the building with this third layer of steel going right across but it is not necessary but if you want more in terms of strength for your roof you can run all of these right across the building the the the, the, the top layer here the the steel going across the building or the bars going across they are placed 12 inches apart while the ones going from the back to the front of the building they are six inches apart and they are placed strategically outside of the original wall of the first floor and in this particular case this is so because the the, the second floor will not be going up on top or exactly on top of the first floor wall so there will be a little extension so hence the reason for the reinforcement or in other words the overload layer of steel um, I've come to the end of this video. I hope that the information that I have presented will be useful and as always feel free to ask any question and leave your comment. Please subscribe to my channel as you will be notified of future videos. I'm looking around still. You don't hear my voice I'm just thinking what else I can present I don't really edit the videos these are 
raw footage um, because I'm really busy but I also want to to help prospective home owners who would want to build with the necessary information so as to guide them and to avoid pitfalls that are involved in building one's own home. The electrical work that you're seeing here involves um, wiring for cameras, wiring for light bulbs, um, wiring for AC units, and wiring for cable. Um, the wiring costs um, it runs from 3,000 Jamaican dollars per point upwards. You can negotiate. Um, you also have the plumbing work. And as with anything else involving construction, you have to negotiate. There's a um, read sheet that I posted in my other video and i'll be posting it here and you can use that rate sheet as a guide when you're negotiating and as i as i have said in my previous videos it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of work um, doing your own home but it gives you a peace of mind knowing that you have designed exactly what you want from scratch so the the information that i'm providing here is to help you as to minimize costs because there are lots of saving to be had when you have information when you are armed with information and when you have the right person doing your work you can actually be your own contractor and um you can be your own contractor so you can minimize the amount that you spend while maximizing what you actually get i'm gonna leave it there for now but do subscribe leave your comment ask your question your questions and i'll responding i'll be responding accordingly with information that i have thank you for tuning in to this video and look out for new videos i'll be dealing with other aspects of the building going forward thank you